Darcy and I have had a great opportunity this week to visit a ministry here in Ecuador that we really love. It's a ministry designed especially for the street kids. It's called Faces. You're looking at the faces of children who get up every morning and instead of like our children who go to school, these children go to work. They work on the busy street corners selling chewing gum and candy. Some of them shine shoes all day long from morning to night for 25 cents a pair. Some of our older children work in construction. Others make their living by savaging cardboard from trash cans. One year ago, we would have told you that most of these children didn't attend school. But now, praise God, thanks to your help, many of them are in school. We've been able to assist their needy families with tuition, uniforms, and things that they need for the school. What a privilege it was this week for us to be able to visit the school where these children attend and learn more about their lives. They rise about 5.30 each morning, drink a cup of coffee, and head to the street to work. After an eight or nine hour workday, they rush home, wash up, change clothes, and walk to night school. After school is out at 10 p.m., they walk 30 minutes to reach their small living quarters that consists of a small room and a shared bath. Then it's homework time until about midnight when they fall asleep. All of this is even more incredible when you realize that most of these brave, responsible teenagers don't live with their parents. They do all this because they truly understand the meaning of the phrase, the privilege of continuing your education. The issue of child labor is very complicated, and we have learned that all the children are working just to help their families survive. So in order to support them in their struggles and disciple them for Christ, we now have a ministry center that is open six days a week. Here at the ministry center this week, I have really seen a place that the kids could come off of the street, take time away from their work just to be kids, to come to play and to relax. When we first began the ministry in 2003, we were meeting in parks and borrowed facilities. But with the new ministry center, we can cook them nutritious meals and provide hot showers. The children love to come and play, do art activities, listen to music, or just sit and talk with our volunteers. Each day we have devotions, and on Saturdays we have a worship service and Bible teaching. Our message is always the same. Everywhere Jesus would go, they would say, we want to go hear Jesus speak the word of God. God has a plan, a destiny for you. If you dedicate your whole heart completely to Him, He will transform your life. Before coming to the Faces Ministry, these children never ever went to the doctor or dentist. Now by partnering with local Christian clinics, the children are much healthier and are getting the ongoing help that they need. You might ask, what kind of parents would put their children in the streets to work, not send them to school, and fail to get them the medical attention? Almost 100% of the 200 children we have touched through this ministry are a part of a larger group of Indians called the Quechuas. For centuries, the peaceful Quechua farmers have been enslaved and discriminated against throughout South America. As a result, they find themselves in poverty, confined to small plots of dry land located in remote mountainous regions. In order to survive, the Quechua men and boys are forced to immigrate to the cities, to work and send money back to the villages for the women and children. A long-term goal of the FACES ministry is to develop partnerships with the home communities of the children, winning and discipling them for Christ, and assisting them to begin enterprises that will give the parents job opportunities right in their own village, thus turning the tide on child labor. Our first baby step toward this end was to assist the community La Merced in the completion of a new church. Something else we've been involved in this week was a dedication service in an open house. 
Folk from the local community were invited to view the ministry center and see what can happen through the joint efforts of the local church, a team of volunteers, and people like us as we partner together. Darcy and I were particularly grateful to receive a special gift of recognition and thanks. As the kids ministered in song, our hearts were touched to hear their praises to God and to see their smiling faces. We need your help to continue reaching these children. Our budget this year is $22,000. Through your contribution, we can continue to help feed, educate, and provide medical attention to these precious, needy children of Ecuador. By supporting this ministry center, you will ensure that these children continue to hear the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ. On behalf of the children of Ecuador, Teresa and I want to thank you for all you have done to make this ministry a reality. Thank you for your continued prayers and support that will help us to further this ministry and take the love of Jesus to other working children throughout Ecuador. We truly believe that because you have helped these children, that someday you'll hear our Savior say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. These paper hearts that you see behind me have a very special meaning to us. Each year here at the Ministry Center, we give the children a Christmas party. This year was very special because as the Christmas story was shared with our children, we told them about the birth of Jesus, how that Jesus died for them. At the end of the ministry, we gave them a chance to surrender their hearts to the Lord Jesus Christ. We explained to them that on the table there was a piece of red paper that was cut out in the shape of a heart. Each child that wanted to give their heart and life to the Lord Jesus was asked to sign their name on this little red heart. 39 children, one by one, got up from the table and walked over and pinned the heart up on the Christmas tree, signifying that they now had surrendered their hearts and life to the Lord Jesus. What a wonderful time. Won't you continue to help us support this ministry here in Ecuador through your help we can continue this ministry and reach these precious children of Ecuador.